Hey guys, Fuzzy here, and in today's video, I'll be making the uh, cupcake from Five Nights at Freddy's, which is held by Chica in the first game. I thought it'd be fun to make one so I could like display it on my desk or something, and it was something that I could make life-size of, or a life-size version of that won't be like too huge or something. It was a little repetitive at the beginning making the cupcake liner, because I had to put a line for every dent and then I had to weave a pipe cleaner in between every single one. And in the end, it was kind of crooked, I don't know if you can see it, but the little lines were like making a swirl or something, and I wasn't sure how to fix it, so I just moved on from it. Throughout the time making it though, I had to modify it a little bit, I had to uh, smush it down a little bit so it could be shorter, and of course the easiest part of the project was filling in the bottom of it. Then, since I wanted the mouth to open, I knew it had little bottom teeth, so I made those too. I somehow knew that the mouth opened, but I didn't know he had a gold tooth, which is kind of weird. But kind of cool too, because it's like a little hidden detail. Then for the main cupcake part, I had to make a little outline for the bottom part, which had to be big enough to kind of fit on there, but be able to loosely uh, come apart from it because the mouth was going to open. Then to fill it in, I had to weave another pipe cleaner in between a bunch of layers, but this time I was going to only fill it up a little bit because I needed to put the candle on there first. For the candle, I kind of made like a little base for it first, and then I wrapped some pipe cleaner around it, the both white and yellow around to make the little swirl. And afterwards, to make the little wick and the little fire on the candle, I just stuck two folded black pipe cleaners into the candle. And then with a yellow pipe cleaner, I just kind of wrapped it around a little bit to make the little fire on the wick. Then before filling in the rest of it, I have to put the eye holes in, which were just two little circle silhouette things that I put into the skeleton of it. I had to cut one of the layers on it and then fill it in from there. But later on in the video, I actually expand the eye sockets a little more because they were too little at the beginning, which it didn't take that much work to do. I just had to open up the, uh, the filling part or the edges, and then I had to uh, just make it a little bigger. Also, this part where I have a little half circle and I try to put it in the, the head part, I actually removed that in the end because the teeth didn't fit and I was going to use it, the little half circle, as kind of a holder for the eyeballs, but then later I just didn't end up needing that at all. Instead, I put these little tabs inside the head part so that when it closed, it didn't go all the way in. I also later changed the color of the eye sockets because it looked more black to me the second time I looked at the picture, so I just kind of remade what I'm doing here, but just in black. I wanted the eyeballs to move in some kind of way, so when I first made the eyeballs, I made them with like little sticks in the back so that I can kind of move them like switches. But the idea didn't end up working, so what I did was just kind of leave them unattached so that I could just kind of pull them out whenever, or I can just switch them with my fingers, because if I can open the mouth, I could access the eyeballs. Then for the little hinges in the back, I just attached two little pipe cleaners to the bag very loosely so that it can open and close. And after, I could just pop in the eyeballs and the cupcake is finished. This is a pretty fun project to do. My favorite part about this was the movable eyes. I really wanted to uh, do that properly, so I'm glad I got to uh, fit that feature in. It's just fun to uh, move the eyes in whatever position I want. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope you really like this video. Thank you.